Now we need to add using column addition. First, we have 552 plus 38. So we set the question out like this, with our digits lined up on the right hand side. Because remember, we count place values from the right, so if we've lined the digits up on the right, then our ones, tens, and hundreds columns will be lined up as well. Now with column addition, we work from right to left. So we start by adding our smallest place value column, so with our ones. We have two plus eight. That makes 10, but we can't write 10 because we can only have one digit in each place value so one digit in each square. So we need to write 10 as one zero. So with the first digit of the number above the next place value column along. So here above our tens column. So now because we've added our ones, we move on to our tens column. We have one plus five plus three. That makes nine. And now we move on to our hundreds and we have five plus nothing, so we have five. That gives us an answer of 590. So now let's try 679 plus 43. Again, we've got the question written out with the digits lined up on the right hand side. So with the three ones in 43, underneath the nine ones in 679, and then with the four tens in 43, underneath the seven tens in 679. So now we can start by adding our ones digits. Nine plus three is 12, but that's a two digit number. So we need to write the first digit above the next place value column along. Nine plus three is 12, so that's one, two. Now, 1 plus 7 plus 4 is 12, so again, that's 1, 2, with the first digit written above the next place value column along, so here in our hundreds place value column. And now, we have 1 plus 6 plus nothing, so that's 7, and that gives us 722. Now, 464 plus 152. We start with our ones column, four plus two is six. We don't need to write anything above because six is a single digit or one digit number. So we can move on to the tens. We have six plus five and that's 11. So we write 11 as one one because it's a two digit number. So first digit above the next column along. Finally, we can move on to our hundreds column and one plus four plus one is six, so our answer is 616. Finally, we get to 388 plus 219. Eight plus nine is 17, so that's one seven. One plus eight plus one is 10, so that's one zero. And one plus three plus two is six, so our answer is 607. Now let's take a closer look at these questions. So we can show base 10 blocks to help us understand why this method works. So why, if we get a two digit answer, when we add a column, we write the first digit above the next place value column along. Here we start with 552, so that's five hundreds, five tens, and two ones. We started by adding eight ones. So if we add eight ones, that gives us 10 ones altogether. But because we only have one digit in each place value, we exchange those 10 ones for one 10. So we can put this above our tens column. So notice here, we've made one extra 10. So that's why we write the one above our tens column. And now, because we exchanged, we don't have any ones, so that's why we have a zero as the ones digit of our answer. So now we have one plus five, the one that we made from adding our ones, and the five tens that we started with, we need to add three tens. 
When we do that, that gives us nine tens altogether. And we're not adding any hundreds, so we still have five hundreds. So that's why we get 590. Then we started with 679, so that's six hundreds, seven tens, and nine ones. We were adding 43, so first we can add three ones. Doing that gives us 12 ones, but we can regroup 10 of these ones into one ten, so let's put that above our tens blocks. Notice we have one ten that we've made, and we have two ones left over. So nine plus three is twelve, but we write the first digit above the next place value column along, because we can exchange it. So now we have one plus seven, that's the one that we made from adding our ones, and the seven that we started with, and we need to add four more tens. If we add four tens, we now have 12 tens altogether. But we can regroup 10 of those tens to make an extra hundred. So let's move that above our hundreds blocks. Notice here we've made one extra hundred. So that's why we write a one in our hundreds column. And we have two tens left over. So that's why we write two as the tens digit of our answer. Now we're not adding any hundreds. So we have the 100 that we've made and the 600s that we started with, so that's 700s. Then we started with 464 and we were adding 152. We can add two ones to give us six ones. Then we need to add five tens. But when we do that, we get 11 tens. And we can regroup 10 of those tens to make an extra hundred. So we can move this block above our other hundreds blocks. And then we can write one above the hundreds digits in our question. And because we now have one ten, we can write one as the tens digit of our answer. So six plus five is eleven, but eleven tens is the same as one hundred and one ten. So that's why we write one above our hundreds digits. So now we've made one extra hundred by adding our tens. We have four hundreds in the number that we started with, and we need to add one more hundred. So that gives us six hundreds altogether. And then for our last question, we started with 388. So three hundreds, eight tens, eight ones and we were adding 219. We start by adding nine ones, and that gives us 17 ones. But we don't write 17 in our answer, because we can exchange 10 of those ones for one 10. So we've made one extra 10, and now, because we exchanged, we only have seven ones. So that's seven as the ones digit of our answer. So now we've made an extra 10. We had eight tens in the number that we started with. And if we add one more 10, that gives us 10 tens. But 10 tens is the same as 100. So we can write one in our hundreds column. And because we now don't have any tens, we need to write zero as the tens digit of our answer. So now we've made 100 by adding our tens. We had three hundreds to start with, so if we add two more hundreds, that gives us six hundreds altogether. So here we've shown addition using base 10 blocks, but we could also use place value counters. So for our first question, we started with 552 and were adding 38. First we added eight ones, but that gave us ten ones so we could exchange those for one ten, leaving us with zero as the ones digit of our answer. Then we need to add three tens, and that gives us nine tens altogether now, and we still have our five hundreds. Then we started with six hundred and seventy nine. We were adding forty three. We can add one, two, three ones. 
That meant that we've made one ten and we have two as the ones digit of our answer. Then we need to add four tens. We can add one, two, exchange, then add three, four. And now, because we've made this extra hundred by adding our tens, we have seven hundreds. Then four hundred and sixty-four, so four hundreds, six tens, four ones. We can add two ones to give us six as our ones digit. Then we need to add five tens. We can add one, two, three, four, exchange, and then add our fifth ten. That leaves us with one as the tens digit of our answer. So because we've made this extra hundred by adding our tens, and we started with four hundreds, we just need to add one more hundred to give us six as our hundreds digit. And then we started with 388. To add 219, first we add nine ones. We can add one, two, exchange, then add three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and that gives us seven ones. Then we need to add one ten, but now we've got ten tens all together, so we exchange. Then we add two hundreds, and that gives us six as our hundreds digit.